I'm doing a little happy dance because our lion tracking is going superbly. Look at those beautiful heads sticking out of the grass. Hello ladies. How very interesting. I was only tracking one and would you look at that. That's definitely more than one. Hello girls. And the perfect thing about that and the reason that I'm doing this happy dance is we're on the boundary. So two seconds later there's a chance they might have got up and gone across onto Arethusa Simbombili. It's really very much touch and go. And what that means for our new viewers is essentially there are certain places we can drive and certain places we can't. And Simbombili we cannot drive on, which is here. Arethusa we can, which is here. And this is Juma, which obviously is our home. And so we have arrived at the perfect time. Hello, little ones. Who have we got here? Hello. A series, oh, you're looking so much cleaner than when I last saw you. So much cleaner. Look at you. Here we go. Look at all these faces staring up at us. One, two, three, four, five, six Nkuhuma cubs. And two lionesses. And presumably, actually, the third that I was tracking is somewhere not too far away from here. She must be on her way back to rejoin this group. Unless it's one of the adult females that are over here. I'm not sure. It's one of those mysteries of the morning. Who knows what's been going on? Yes, girls. They've just come across from the Arethusa Simbombili boundary, which is interesting. Because it means one of them was on Juma, and one of them's been wandering around here. Now, the last time I saw the Inkuhuma cubs, that was actually with Senzo. And Senzo and I were looking at them, and they were absolutely covered in blood, guts, and gore from the buffalo meal that they were consuming. They are looking far more pristine than they were then. They're actually looking utterly gorgeous, and their mange has cleared up almost completely. They are now looking like health, proper healthy little lion cubs. There goes the smallest one, the youngest one. Oh, the affection there. Oh, or, you know, a little bit of a snarl from mum, whichever way it works. I suppose I'd also snarl first thing in the morning if I got a headbutt straight to the nose. Now there's a couple of big yawns happening as that cub disappears from the adults and from the cubs which suggests that they may not be done yet with their morning movements. Let's just see which way they go. And another big yawn. Now I need to, I'm afraid to say, I do need to hop onto the Game Drive radio ever so quickly so that I can tell the other guides. It's the way that we communicate with each other across the reserve. And I need to call it in relatively quickly because otherwise there's a very good chance that these lines could cross and some of the guests won't get to see them. So do forgive me. You can watch these beautiful lines while I do that. Oh, never mind. I was going to try to, but unfortunately it seems as though there's lots to be said this morning. Hello, lovely girls. I cannot believe the difference in these cubs. They are looking so much healthier. And we've actually had the opportunity... Oh! Some big teeth coming through there. But we've actually had the opportunity to watch them grow up from, from when they were just tiny little bundles of fluff. I'll never fear, I'm not going anywhere, but I do need to have some chatting since the sighting is on a boundary, or do some chatting. Now while I do that, luckily it's cat morning this morning, and Brent has Tingana to keep you entertained. <laughs> 